Yeah, forgive me for the roughness on this, but what I was thinking about was basically building a toroid, as you see here, with uh, basically aluminum sections followed by uh, non-conductive sections, as you see here in this alternating path, and filling this chamber with uh, basically a mercury gas. Um, I'm, not sure, I'm not a you know, physicist or anything. I'm not really totally sure of all the mechanics on this stuff. And then basically use like combinations of one and two uh, applying a high voltage DC uh, voltage to that, um, alternating between say 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 with a very high voltage, which would cause current flow around this toroid in the gas, which would also ionize the mercury gas inside there, um, accelerating it. Now, you know, I'm thinking what's going to happen if, for instance, we, we apply a voltage to 1 and 2. We're probably going to get an arc trying to go around each side like, like this. So it's basically the acceleration will be zero. But if, uh, if I'm thinking correctly, I think uh, electric plasma can uh, be affected by magnetic fields. And if that's true, then uh, it would be polarized to one magnetic field or another when this current, when this voltage is switched on. So perhaps we could put a coil, uh, coils in here, in these non-conductive sections, that could switch on at the same time that the voltage is pulsed to the conductive sections that will repel the plasma in one direction. I don't know if this is correct or not. Um, and hopefully, if we can do that, we can accelerate the plasma, which should already be flowing uh, pretty close to the speed of light, since electrons are fairly close to the speed of the light, if I'm correct on that, um, getting this thing up to a relativistic speed. And if this thing's built big enough, perhaps some measurable uh, gravitational influences can be measured, maybe? I don't know. But anyway, I was thinking about this. This might be something I could possibly build in the shop. Um, I'm not sure yet how everything's going to work. Possibly to create the mercury gas, I might be able to use a pool of mercury inside here with some sort of a, an arc or something to uh, whatever, pull it back. And, all right, let me get back on this. If I put a pool of mercury in there and I pull a vacuum on this, if I can heat that mercury up, will it gasify to the point where I can pressurize this vessel? If anybody might let me know that, I'd appreciate it. Anybody's got any input on this? If you think it's totally dorky to even attempt to build something like this, which you know in my shop would be kind of small and would take a while since uh, it takes money, which I don't have. But anyway, that's my thoughts.